guys. Well, it's time for bottom paint on Puffin. So uh, Puffin came with a bottom paint that is called VC17. It's an Interlux product. That's a blade of paint. It's copper. Is It's uh, one of its main ingredients. So when you mix this stuff up, you got to be very, very careful not to breathe any of the copper. You want to mask up and make sure that you're not inhaling it. Copper is very poisonous. But the VC17 is what's on here, so that's what we're going to go over. And this is a very common product that's used in the Great Lakes. It's a very good product, uh, but you hit it usually every year. You'll hit it with one or two coats. I'm going to do two coats on the keel and the rudder because they're kind of worn. The hull itself is in pretty good shape, so I'll just do one coat. Usually it takes about a couple of quarts for a boat this size to go through it and put some good heavy coats on. Uh, so I got it all washed down. I got it taped up. I'm going to go through and hit it with some acetone to get all the uh, residue off and make sure that I got a clean surface. Then we'll mix this up and we'll start rolling. Let's get to it. So this product's pretty cool. It actually goes on copper. And then as it oxidizes a little bit, interacts with the air and the water, it actually turns black. They also have a blue version, but this one turns black. So let me show you what it looks like beforehand. And you can see as I've rubbed it with the acetone, we have a couple spots where the copper starts to come through as you get through a couple layers. This is a very thin material. You can see copper comes off when you put the tape on it and pull it off. And it's made to slough off over time so that it doesn't foul up. Any growth that's on there is going to fall off with it. So. Uh, it has actually, and the copper is pretty toxic to some other things as well, which is why they've been trying to get the copper stuff outlawed for a long time. So anyways, this is what it looks like beforehand. Let's go ahead and mix up some paint and get to rolling. So one of the things you might be thinking is, well, what about these areas underneath in the keel? Well, this VC-17 dries so fast and cures up that you can literally have them put the boat in the slings, paint these areas, just hit it with some acetone, paint it, and within about five minutes, she's ready to go right in the water. So one of the advantages. Uh, so we'll get this area, the front and the keel. Got to do a little grinding on the bottom of the keel when it comes off of the stand, but it should be, it should be fine. So there's all our nice, pretty copper blade of paint. All right, bottom paint's all done. So a couple things that you may not have seen me do is that uh, this VC-17 dries really, really quickly. So what you have to do is pour a little bit in the pan, roll it out while you put the cap back on, roll that out. You saw me doing sections of about maybe two feet at a time and then pour some more in the can. To do. Otherwise, if you leave that can open or you put too much in the tray, it actually starts evaporating very quickly and you can lose a quarter of the can if you have it open on a really hot, dry day. It's just going to evaporate right out. So um, another couple things to note is that this stuff cleans up very easy with acetone. Uh, foam roller is what you use. There's a couple different types you can use. I just use the cheap ones that I get from Menards or Home Depot. Uh, they seem to work pretty well. But uh, So we're all done with it. Uh, she's ready to go except for one thing. Found out that she has a salvage title. So I've got to get that salvage title dealt with and we're going to cover all of the steps to go through removing a boat from salvage title and get back to a regular title uh, on the next episode. So uh, tune in next time when we deal with some really fun title issues.
see you next time, guys.